All right, thank you, John. Yes, Leslie has a great recipe today. It's for an easy peach cobbler for two people. This recipe is already on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page if you want to go there to uh, copy it down. But this looks mm -hmm. so good, and it is peach season. Yes, it is. I've been seeing so many stories of all the peaches coming in and the lion clubs that order in the lugs of peaches, and I just got <laughs> hungry for peaches. I really wanted to find something that worked for that. Plus, I've also had a lady say, all your recipes are too big. Oh, so she wants something smaller. So she wanted something smaller. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've been looking for recipes that either are small or that you can make and divide and freeze part of it. Oh, great. So what you find, can do with this. Where did you find this one? I did find this one online. Uh, I've tried a number of them. Mm -hmm. So some of them were okay, some of them not so great. Okay, so you but can this use one I, I like. fresh peaches or canned? You yeah. can. This is actually made with canned peaches, but you can use fresh or frozen. Okay. Um, comes out to about... Two cups, you can go overboard on the peaches. I don't think there's too many. <laughs> I agree, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. So we'll, we're going to start with Bisquick. That's a half a cup, and this is just for one recipe, a half a cup of Bisquick and a half a cup of milk. Right. And a fourth of a teaspoon of the nutmeg. And stir that together. You mix that up, and then you pour in a fourth of a cup of melted butter. Okay. And yeah. again, if you want more, this is for two people. This is two. And you make it in a one-quart casserole. You can either do this or you can use like a loaf pan. Oh. Okay. Um, you can make one for one for, for two people. You can double it and put it in like a nine-by-nine nine pan mm -hmm. or put it into two pans and freeze one. Okay. Um, I've got peaches here. I'm going to add in some sugar. And I, let's see, half a cup of sugar and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a fourth of a teaspoon of almond. And I can smell this almond. Mm. That always makes such a difference. And then a half a teaspoon of the cinnamon. All right. Now with this, just dump that in there. Okay. I'll get these tossed up a little bit. And then you put that on top? And you just pour this in on top. And this is the finished water. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Thank you, Karen. I'm going to get going with this, Leslie. Right you here. bet. You can go ahead. 375 for 40 minutes. Okay. So when this bakes, it just comes all up around the peaches. You don't have to do anything Ooh. more than just that. Look how pretty that is. All right. I'll give this a try. I love peaches. It's all right. Mmm. So good. So good. Thank you for that. It's just that easy. Yeah. Anybody can do it. This can be bake it first, cover it, freeze it, or okay. just put it in one of the little tin pans. Perfect. All right. This so. recipe is on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page. Back to you, John.